The Colgate Comedy Hour. Starring Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. With Burt Lancaster. The Skylarks. And Sidney Silman. Presented by the Colgate Palmolive Peat Company, makers of Colgate Dental Cream. Palmolive Lather Shaving Cream. New Fab. New Fab has twin power. And palm olive soap. And now, the Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis Show. Good afternoon, folks. Well, it's mighty exciting here at Pier 97. The Liberty has just stopped and a large crowd is waiting to greet two famous world travelers. After two months in Europe, wait, yes it is, and here they are now, those men about Europe, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. <laughs> In London, met Her Majesty the Queen. And across the sea to Ireland, for the weather of the green. I then we took a boat to Scotland, <laughs> for a bit of Scottish blue. It's a brogriff moonlicht nicht to nicht, <laughs> and a happy face I do. <laughs> brogriff moonlicht, what is this? Oh, that's Scotch. Well, how'd you come to it? Well, that's in Scotland, you see. Well, how could you talk about something if you don't know what it means? Oh, no, I know what it's all about, Dean, you well, see. What it's all about it? Yeah, a brogrich and a nicht needs a moonlit, you see. And in Scotland, they got a brogrich moonlit nicht. And I tell you, Dean, I never in my whole life saw a better brogrich than I saw these moonlit nicht with bros and... B ah. That's all. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, there's so much din. We'll tell you all we did. We'll tell you all about our trip. Now, just give this chance to kids. So many things have happened, so many things to do. So listen while we tell you. And you can listen, too. Tally-ho! Tally-ho! We're back, don't you know? Slimy, crikey, vulgar dash, and all that sort of rot. Messy, boku, a pleader's aim, and how are you, old pot? Bip, bip, and a goom body. Hey, there's the more, but the week for gone. One show is paid to be a home. Champagne and caviar, Arcee 
triumph, white will flower, some see the day. Wait for Cali, Moody Valley, Paris is so gay. And all you have to do is pay and pay and pay and pay, but it sure is paid to be a A boy by your side to carry your book, and you, the girl with that schoolgirl complexion look. You being lovely Joan Reba of Rice Institute. But did you know most women can have that schoolgirl complexion look? Just change to 100% mild palm olive soap and the wonderful palm olive beauty plan. Gently massage palm olive soap's 100% mild pure lather onto your skin for 60 seconds three times a day. Then rinse with warm water, splash with cold, and pat dry. In just 14 days, most women can have softer, smoother, brighter skin. That schoolgirl complexion look. Doctors have proved it. Proved Palm Olive's beauty plan is far better for your skin than just average care with any leading soap. So there's your beauty secret. Palm Olive soap brings out beauty while it cleans your skin. And remember, Palm Olive soap is 100% mild to give you everything you need for gentle beauty care. So get 100% mild palm olive soap to help guard that schoolgirl complexion look. Hey, ladies. Ladies, does your husband suffer from the illness known as televisionitis? Well, all over the country, women have been making this very same complaint. And if it's any comfort to them, this scene should demonstrate that they do not suffer alone. Let's watch. Come on, boy. Give him a left. Come on. A left and a head. Hit him with his left. Stop. Come on, boy. Oh, honestly, Gretchen, I don't know what I'm going to do with him. Look at that. Every night he watches the fight. I cook him the nicest dinners I know how. I get dressed up for him. He doesn't even see me. All he sees are those fights. Oh, honestly, sometimes I think the dining room table was a waste of money. Oh, what's the use of talking about it? Come on, honey. I've got to get his dessert. One hit him with a left. Come on, that buddy. Hit him. Hit him, boy. Come on. Left, right, right, left. Left, right. Here, darling, here's your dessert. I hope you like it. I just said it right there, honey. Oh, really? Every night with a fight. Here. Hit him! <laughs> How do you like it, dear? Oh, that's delicious, honey. Come on. You might as well try and say good night. All right. Oh. Paul, say good night to your child. Good night, son. Good night. <laughs> that's your daughter. What's the difference? A kid's a kid. Get him out of here. <laughs> Come on, boy. That's it. Hit him. Left, right. Right, left. Hit him with his left. Stop him. Three douches down. Four, get up. five. Get up. And while the referee is counting, a word from our sponsor. Middle of a knockout? Good evening, friend. 
May I say how happy I am to see all of you here tonight. I am, of course, as you well know, your TV appliance man, and uh, welcoming you and uh, asking you to be good enough. Just be good enough to look upon me as a friend. <laughs> as a friend, not a salesman, not someone who's doing something strictly for money, but doing it for you. <laughs> now, I'm here to ask you something that's uh, more or less personal, but you're pretty particular people, I know that. You're good people and pretty particular. You're particular about your home, your food, your furnishings, and your kids, is that right? Well, what about your TV set? Are you particular about that? Now, take a look at it. Come on, come on, take a look. Is it fuzzy? <laughs> well, if it is, believe me, you're in for some trouble. Remember one thing. Now, once you're a liar, you become a thief. <laughs> now, if your TV set is fuzzy, you're due for distortion. <laughs> How's it like that? <laughs> Sorry, huh? huh? How does that look to you? That's pretty bad, and I'm a good-looking boy. <laughs> now, there's the answer to your trouble right there. There it is, the deep buzzer. That's the baby right there, the deep buzzer. <laughs> now, this is made up of three calibre bars and a cochula. <laughs> and you can't get them today. <laughs> now, this is the thing that does it. it I get all choked up when I think about it. <laughs> Just give me a buzz and we'll defuzz. Now, the number to call is Yorkshire 8831. You got that? Pudding 7918. <laughs> oh, what? I like this kind oh, of picture. Oh, well, that set looks perfectly dreadful. I love fuzzy oh, fighters. Listen, let's not be ridiculous. Now, who's ridiculous? The set looks dreadful. Well, I love a dreadful set. Hello. Could you install a defuzzer for me? Be very happy to, madam. Would you be good enough to give me your address, please? It's 317 North Orange Drive. That's 126 Kumquat Place. I've got it. Yes, I'll handle it right away, ma'am. Well, how long will it be? It'll be no time at all, madam. It'll be faster than you can say, Filigadusha, Ginnamarusha, Balderalda, Bum Tooty A! <laughs> <laughs> what took you so long? I had trouble with the car. I'm glad to be here, and I'm happy to be of some service to you very, very nice people. Now, all the... Oh, there it is! There's one! That fuzzy set! I love a fuzzy set. It's ruining your eyes, man. It's ruining those eyes. Nothing wrong with my eyes. There's no reason for it. We'll fix that set in no time, and you'll be a happier man. Oh, I think you're absolutely right. Can you show us that gadget that you were advertising? Is that the little devil? Yes, that's the one. Can you install that right away? Yeah, that's a little silly, madam. This is only the box of screws coming. I'll get the other thing for you right now. <laughs> oh, this is a good trick to look at it, huh? It looks perfectly terrible, but and you will thank me for it someday. I don't want to... I'm only considering want... your health for And it. here we are! <laughs> there it is. Oh. I'll just put that right there. Now, take a look. Now, you boys install that, and I'll be back later. Thank you, ma'am. I look like the back end of a Cadillac. <laughs> oh, look carefully, there's no fuzz. There's no picture. Oh, sorry, that's because, you see, the instrument is not in the proper location. Now, if you'll just get up, boy, stand right up there. Good. Now, just back up. Come on. Back right up, we'll set the set. That's fine. Just back up just a little bit. That's good. Back it up there. Go ahead. Right, back, back, back. Back, hold it right there. Hold it. Now take one step to your right. Go back. You didn't say may I. <laughs> hold it right there. Hold it. Let's check this. No. Nope. No, we're not getting what we need yet. I think we need the 307, the 618, 771, the ABC and the D, the 917, the 826, the 881, and the 915. There you are. You missed the 420. There goes my dinner again. Oh, come back here. <laughs> Give me a stick and I'll kill it. No, no. You don't understand. All you got to do is work with me and we'll get the stick to set for you. Now, just back up. Come on. Back straight up. Oh, well, we're getting it now. That's good. Back up. Back. Hold it. Over to your right. Just a little bit. Over. Over. Now, bend down. Bend down. Come on. Now, back straight up. Back up. Now, come right up. Up. That's it. There. Now, we've got a perfect picture. That's fine. Now, how do you... Well, uh, oh, there you are. Well, how does it look to you now, sir? It's a little dark. Yeah, but no fuzz, eh? No fuzz? 
I'm going to get you out of here. No, I'm just trying to help you. Take it. Get out of here. Look at that thing. Can't even watch a house in my own home. Come on, Lefty, do something. I want to get him now. Right and the left. A left and a right. Anything. Hit him with something. Hit him with the referee. And a voice. Come on. Oh, what a fight, ladies and gentlemen. It's Williams with a left. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, what a fight. The crowd is going wild. Going wild with anticipation. Who will be the winner? Come on, ladies and gentlemen. The crowd is absolutely on its feet. It's Baker with a left now. Ah, it's coming with a right. With another right. It's an effort that Baker is dazed. There Here. comes a right cross. Oh, what a punch. This is the fight of the century. And Baker is down. That's Three, four. And here is a message from our friendly co-sponsor. Not again. Ah, uh, we want to say, uh, how are you? <laughs> On behalf of the Duval School of the Dead. I uh, was very, very happy to say welcome to you. And you can tell the sincerity of my eyes, how happy I am to see you, and uh, how thrilled I am that you're watching. And before I continue, I do want to say hello to all of you out there, and to my very good friends from across the seas, may I say, Bonsoir. <laughs> now, friends, I, I, I want to I, 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 I ask you a question. <laughs> I just want to ask you one simple question. Now, uh, you, you, uh, you don't have to blurt it out so everybody hears it, just for me. Can you dead? <laughs> no, I mean, tell the truth. If you can't dead, you can't dead. <laughs> what can you dead? Well, it's a very terrible thing. I know many of you out there have trouble dancing, and I think it's a shame, all right? It's my own personal opinion. I think it's a shame I you should be able to dance. There's no reason for it. I teach you the most beautiful dance in the world. There's no reason why you have to go to a party and sit in a corner like wallpaper. No reason in the wide world. Now, I teach the rubber, the samba, the conga, the chartish, the waltzer, skip to Baloo by Dolly, anything you want to learn how to dance. <laughs> I remember something, you're not doing me no favors. I'm just helping you out. I want you to be happy. Now, if you want to call me, the number to call, and call me quick, is Rumba, 6666. You got that? Fuck, fuck, three, 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 three. I'm going to phone. Oh, no, you're not. You're I not. most certainly am you're going to phone. Not. Look here, Paul Weep. If you're going to watch television six nights a week, on the seventh, you are going to take me dancing. And you don't know how to dance. So I'm going to see that you learn. I think the woman has got a very good point. Now, we can start this right away. All you got to do is start the dance. Now, I tell you what. I didn't even phone yet. I felt that my heart too needed me. <laughs> All right, we'll start with the rub. Are you ready? Oh, now no, wait. I know how to dance. It's my husband I want you to teach. Come on, darling. All right, thank you. you have to get out. I can't be bothered with visitors. All right, are you all set? set? Now, what would you like to learn how to dance? We have I better. don't want to dance. No, you should dance, though, because we have some wonderful dances that you could do. I don't want to dance, but I want to watch a fight. Yeah, but I'll be a pain. Let's go. Come on. Just one wonderful dance. Ba ba ba, y'all ba ba da. What is that? All right, if I dance once, would you go home? Yeah, I'll leave. I'll teach you, then I'll leave. All right? Let's do the the samba. All right, fine. Here we go. Now, the fight. How can we go? There's nothing to dance to. No records, no radio, nothing. Oh, I'll take care of that. I have, I'm always prepared, and I bring the music here, Chico. Come on. I have great feel. Very good. Thank you. And I have uh, Carlos. He's also very good. Carlos. Now, uh, this is all your small. Would you like to hop? No, I don't want to hop. Stay there, Sylvia. <laughs> now come over here, and I'll show you the first thing you got to learn is to show enthusiasm. You've got to be enthusiastic. Enthusiasm? Uh huh? Oh, go ahead. Now, two jazzes. Now, you take your left elbow, you put it in your right hand, you start to kick, you move right back, you start to kick, you move right forward, you start to kick, you move right back, you turn around and start to stop. Excited, huh? Excited, okay? Let's try it. Nice and bright. Well, what's the time? Here, Papa. There we go. Here, and two jazzes. Wait, no, wait. No, let me stop. No, let me show you. No, wait, no. Let me show you. No, wait, no, wait, wait. No, wait, let me stop. No, let me, no, let me stop. Wait, let me stop. your skinny friend and get out of here. <laughs> trying to watch your fights and I can't watch anything. Come on, somebody, hit somebody. 
Do what something. What happened to the dance instructor? I flattened him out. Oh, you They're in a clinch now. Now they're out. Baker shoots a left to the body. Oh, He's got his second win now. And there's Stancy. Now is a left to the body. And a right there clinching now. They're in a clinch. Everybody's excited, ladies and gentlemen. Some very wonderful fight here. Baker's right got left. a hit to the left. And there's a hit to the right. And now he's down there. It's over. The decision is in. What's well, over? Before we give it to you, What's here over? is a message from our third sponsor. <laughs> Hello, friends. <laughs> Needless to say how happy I am to see you here tonight. Who won the fight? I don't know. You see, <laughs> we have some wonderful used cars. What was the decision? We know that... Hey! The, yes. Who won the fight? I don't know. You see, our cars are, are, are wonderful. Don't get now, smart with me, buddy. Let me know who won the decision. You're very rude. Now, you see... <laughs> I'm very rude. Hey, you see my hand? Yeah. Pick out two fingers. Right there. These two? Yeah. Hey! Oh! <laughs> That's very funny. Now, I must say, I'd like you, ladies and gentlemen, to please try and come down. I'm trying to watch a fight. Will you let me watch it? Who won the fight? I don't know, and I don't care. I have a job to do, and if you can't sit quietly, I certainly don't know what to say. You don't. You just stick there. I'll show you what I'll do to you. Yeah, well, I don't care what you show me. How do you like that? Don't you go away. Oh, this man. It's the last thing I do. Oh, all my long trying to watch a fight. What are you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing? I'm going to kill this man. Put that down. You're out of your mind. Somebody sent for the junk man. <laughs> Say, do you spend full time shaving and get only a half day shave? Oh, why don't you shave? Why spend full time shaving to get only a half day shave? <laughs> when you could get an all day shave, the Palm Olive Lather Shaving Cream Way. Yes, for a shave that most men find really lasts from morning <laughs> till night. Follow the Palm Olive Lather Way. The Palm Olive Blather Shaving Cream Way was tested by 1,200 men. And no matter how they shaved before, seven out of 10 reported cleaner, closer shaves. And mighty comfortable shaves, too. Palm Olive's rich, billowy lather lets you cut whiskers off right down at skin level. Just see if your face doesn't feel velvet smooth. Your shave cleaner, closer. Yes, try Palm Olive Blather Shaving Cream and follow package directions for an all-day shave. Get Palm Olive Lather today. And men, to top off your perfect shave, use the lotion that soothes your face from shave to shave. New Palm Olive After Shave Lotion. Thank you very much. Thank you very kindly, ladies and gentlemen. May I say this is the first opportunity we've had to say good evening and how very happy we are to be starting the Colgate Palm Olive Peat Company's first show season, and oh, we're on the television. <laughs> we want to say that we're very, very happy, and it's nice to see all of you, and we're glad that you tuned in. We would like also to make mention of the fact that this is Fab. It's a product made by the Colgate Palm Olive Peat Company, and on the back of the box, they put our picture. <laughs> they made sure we'd mention it, and uh, <laughs> they've been very wonderful to us, letting us open the season, and and giving us this kind of press, we want to thank the Colgate people so very much. We'd like you to buy Fab. It's a very wonderful product. We'd like... Why do you laugh? <laughs> for me? Thank you. We would like also to say, ladies and gentlemen, that you know very well, for those that have followed Dean and I in the past uh, two or three years, that we've been trying very hard to help the Muscular Dystrophy Association in their fight against this terrible dread disease. Well, Look Magazine has given us the biggest break we've had so far. The uh, October 20th issue of Look Magazine has a story in it entitled, My Son Died a Little Each Day. It's about muscular dystrophy. I think it will enlighten so many of you about this terrible disease. We'd love for you to look at it, read it, and look at look. We'd like to say hello to little Helene Wilner in Irvington, New Jersey, who's a very sweet little girl who's crippled, and we sincerely hope that she's enjoying the show.
Here's how the editor of a famous magazine collects and checks information to help you. Catherine, I'm doing an article on washing products. I know that in the laundry lab you tested this new fad with Tim Power. Now, the ad says that the greatest combination of cleaning and whitening power in history has been added to fads. Is it really that different from all the others? Yes, it is. You'll notice we tested new fab with Twin Power against all the leading detergents. See, here we found that fab cleans and whitens clothes as none of the others do. You say here that fab starts cleaning twice as fast. Twice? That's right, and has up to twice the active washing ingredient of any other leading detergent. And that exclusive whitening ingredient is terrific. With or without a bleach, Fab has the best whitening power I've ever seen. Thanks, Beth. I can certainly tell our readers that Fab actually has unbeatable cleaning and whitening power. And our tests also show Fab is milder to hands than even leading floating soap. Even with all that twin power? Mm -hmm. That's really new. So get new Fab in this familiar box. Only new Fab has twin power. That's why new Fab cleans and whitens clothes as no other product can. Well, that doesn't look too bad. Hey, that's nice. That's a nice room in the last room, huh, Dean? Yeah. Look at the floor. What about it? It's got one. <laughs> what do you want? I was just looking at the room to see what it's like. You're going to be nice and cool. This opens to the garden. Oh, are the calories in bloom again? <laughs> uh, oh, what is this with the one bed? Yeah, when we wired it, we want a twin bed. What's this? Where's the other bed? Come on, frisk him. You Where's got the, the bed, bed or not? What happened Will to the bed? Will you cut it out? This is a nice double bed. This has an inner spring mattress. You're going to be very right, comfortable. Don't tell me about beds. I've been using them for years. Yeah, this is a little crazy bed. Nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, John. It's over. Boy, boy, they sure starch the sheets here, buddy. <laughs> This hotel has every other convenience. You yeah. Have to I know. Here, here, here's two bucks. Take the elevator and go up. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, how about some toothbrush and we'll go to pressure it? Yeah, I have everything. Wait, 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 wait. How come I need two suitcases and you put everything in this little thing? Oh, well, that's scientific packing, Dean. I have as much stuff as you have. Hello. I have as much stuff as you have, you see, but I put it all in one bag. It's all scientific. You just got to know how to pack, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> the, the idea is when he says, how do you put all this stuff in one bag? I say it's scientific packing, and then when I press it, everything's supposed to fly up in the air, you see? But unfortunately, we ran short on money somewhere and couldn't get a spring. I don't know. <laughs> and the pajamas. I'll bring everything oh, in. that's a good pick. Yeah, that's terrific. Uh, where are they working tomorrow? <laughs> the radio. <laughs> Attention, everyone. We issue a warning from your local police department. An inmate named Doc Delaney has just escaped from the observation ward of the State Institution for Alcoholics. Delaney is dangerous and is in constant search for a small dog known as Sheba. Delaney is six foot three, graying hair, brown eyes, and walks around calling Sheba, Sheba, come back little Sheba. If you see this man, please notify your local police Thank you. 
Hello, Lola. It's me, Doc. Dr. Laney. Your husband. <laughs> the one who didn't get the Oscar. <laughs> Honest, Lola. You're such a slob. <laughs> All right, never mind that. Now listen to me. Now look, I'm looking for Sheba. Sheba. Our dog! <laughs> Boy, what a slob! <laughs> Sheba. Come back, little Sheba. Sheba. Brush your teeth with Colgate. Colgate in the cream. It cleans your wheel. What a toothpaste. While it cleans your bird. It cleans your bird? <laughs> I'm very tired, Dean. Are you real what? I'm awfully tired, Dean. Well, what do you say we go to bed? Okay, that's a very good idea, because I have... Boy, these one-night stands sure are murder, aren't they, Dean? You can bet your bottom dollar on that. <laughs> I sure am tired. You can say that again. You can bet your bottom dollar on that. <laughs> Boy, this sure is a tiresome night. Yeah. <laughs> I could have sworn I took those off. <laughs> oh, well. You get carried away sometimes, that's all. Just never know what you're doing from one time to the next. <laughs> uh. Hey, Dean, I got five toes on each foot. It's a set. Everybody has a set. Yeah, I never noticed. They're very stunning. Uh-huh. Well. Go on, put the light on. Go to bed. Okay, good night, Dean. Good night. <laughs> How many feet you got? I got two feet, like anybody else. Uh, um, uh, how many feet I got? Two feet. So how come there's six feet in bed? Jerry, <laughs> there's four feet in bed. There's six, four, six, four. I'll count them. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess you're right, Dan. Yeah. Good night. Good night. I'll put the light on for you. I'll be here. <laughs> Jerry. Yeah. You're right. There's six feet in the bed. No, I just count them. It's four. There's six. It's four. There's six. Four. Six. Count them. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> two, three, one, four. <laughs> oh, when this little kid's right, he's right. <laughs> you can bet your bottom dollar on that. Dean, 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 Dean. Look, look, look. One, two. Yeah. Come here. You know what that means? Yeah. One of us is still in bed. <laughs> Let's find out whom it is. Yeah. You're not Lola. No. And neither am I. What are you doing in my house? Your house? Your house. It's his house. It's your house. Uh, uh, oh. Dangerous fellow humor. You. What? His house. Dangerous humor and humor and... Oh, make believe. Make believe. Pretend. Yes. Pretend. Yes. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, your house. Yes. Uh, well, uh, we're your nephews, Willie and Herbie. From Scranton. <laughs> I, I'm my nephew, Willie. <laughs> and I'm Herbie. Hello, Uncle. Yeah. Uh, Willie Herbie Scranton? Pennsylvania, you know. Uncle George with the bad back, Aunt Sylvia's got the busted leg. You man, you Yeah, I am. Now, wait a minute, tell me. Does Lola know you're here? Lola? Lola. L lo Lola? Lola. Lola, Lola, you know, Lola. Humor, humor. Oh, Lola. Oh, 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 yeah. Lola. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, she said we could stay here. 
a couple days. Yeah. You did, huh? Uh-huh, no. sure. <laughs> How about that? I guess I've made a terrible mistake. Yes. <laughs> Gee, I, I, I'm sorry, boys. Oh, that's, uh, that's all right. Okay. Uh, Willie and Herbie? Yeah, yeah, your nephews from <laughs> Pennsylvania were from. I usually don't behave this way. You no, we that. didn't think you did. Yeah, you look like a very you. nice fella. Well, well, you know, the dogs on my block call me Gentle Ducky. 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 Gentle sure. Ducky. <laughs> I'm sure you brought up. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could do something to show you how sorry I am. Oh, it's all right. Uh, could I, uh, could I offer you a drink? No, we, uh, yes! Oh, no, 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 and Lola wouldn't do a thing like that. Oh, yes, she would. I saw her take it. Yeah, yeah, she sold it to Tommy Wee for his whipping. <laughs> yeah, I saw her do that. <laughs> Lola, I can't believe Lola would do a thing like that. Yeah. Did you hear that? What? The knock at the door. No. Hey, What's the Lola now? The knock at the it's door. Lola. Answer it. Answer, go ahead. The knock. Oh, yeah, Lola, yeah. <laughs> no, it is. Don't slam the door in my wife's face! I thought she was leaving! <laughs> Come in, Lola, darling. <laughs> Lola, I believe you know the boys. Well, say hello to Lola. Uh, hi, Lola. Take hands with Lola. Oh. Uh, Lola? Yeah. Uh huh, hiya. Cold, cold. Lola? Warm, warm, warm. Hot, hot, hot. That is. Oh, uh, hiya, Lola. Where's that thing? Take your filthy hands off my wife. I lost my head. I didn't know she was standing. <laughs> I am. My dear, if you're doing a thing like that. I'm sorry. To this poor, gentle, innocent woman. Isn't she lovely? Yeah. She's all right. Isn't she beautiful? Yeah. Like that type. This is my girl. Yeah. The girl of my dream. I do the singing here. Just <laughs> go. You see, the boys are only kidding. They don't mean any harm. No. They're just little babies. Uh -huh. You feel all right now? You feel fine, huh? Ah, that's good. Lola! What are you doing with that gun? Gun! <laughs> Lola, don't shoot! Look, Lola! Where, where, where? Don't shoot, Lola! Oh, take it easy, honey. Honey, it's me. Stop. Dr. Lady! Your husband! What a slob! <laughs> Lola, it's your husband. You're gonna get it. Oh! What a shot. Thanks. That's all right. Lola. What did I do? You hit her. I hit her? Yeah. I must be out of my mind. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get her some water. You boys make her comfortable. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I, I'm, he said we should make her comfortable. Maybe we'll just put a pillow, lift your head like that, <laughs> or maybe I can get a blanket hey, and stuff hey, the drink. Hey, what are you doing? I'm helping it. She's laying... This, this was a dangerous man. We're just humoring him. Yeah, but he hit her, and she's laying on the floor. Who? Nobody. Oh, like no, he hit. No, there ain't nobody there, not even the cracks. Look at that. Nobody's there. What are you, Nimby? Oh, this is all for fun. <laughs> oh, we were kidding and all that. Nothing. There's nobody really there. It's silent. Oh, I can step on her. Right. Right on her face, I can step on her. Right. Step on the body, break the leg. Right. Step on Lola, Lola. You can put it together in a minute. Pick the slow <laughs> one! Hey, no, 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 no. Hey, hey, don't stretch her! <laughs> gently now, gently. gently. Raise her head. Higher. Higher. Here, drink this, darling. She's unconscious. I'll bring her too. Yeah. <laughs> I think she feels better now. 
the book I almost missed. Yeah. Father Dolly, speak to me. Uh, speak to him. I didn't know what I was doing. He didn't know what he was doing. I was beside myself. He was beside himself. I'm not well these days. He's a sick man. <laughs> Lola, please speak to me. So you won't talk, huh? You're going to be stopping, huh? Okay, then get out. Take your Oscar and get out. <laughs> All right, boys, throw her out. Throw her out? Pick her up and throw her out. Oh, I can't watch. One, two, three, and out she goes. Ready? All right. One. <laughs> Well, that takes care of that. <laughs> oh, oh, you broke the whole leg when you threw me. Sheba, you come back, little lady. <laughs> 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 I miss you, Lola miss you, even Felix the Cat miss you. Didn't you, Felix? Ladies and gentlemen, an important announcement. Latest laboratory tests prove positively that just one brushing with Colgate Dental Cream removes up to 85% of decay and odor-causing bacteria. But let's go behind the scenes of dental research. Let's get the facts. Doctor, what does your study show? Look through this microscope and see for yourself. Just one brushing with Colgate Dental Cream removes up to 85% of decay and odor-causing bacteria. And? Just one brushing with Colgate instantly stops unpleasing breath in seven out of ten cases that originate in the mouth. But if you really want to stop tooth decay, follow the Colgate way. Over a two-year period, scientific tests showed the Colgate way of brushing teeth right after eating stopped more decay for more people than ever before reported in dentifrice history. X-rays showed no cavities whatever for almost two out of three people. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard the facts you've seen for yourself. And now, Doctor, would you be so good as to sum up your findings about Colgate Dental Cream? Certainly. Only the Colgate way does all three. Cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth and stops most tooth decay. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to say that Dean and I try our, our very, very best to answer requests that are written into us, either through the Colgate Hour or through motion pictures or whatever we do. And uh, we'd like to say that we've received many, many letters from, from wonderful people who would like to know why Dean and I don't dance too much on our shows. And we'd like to answer that question right about here and now. You see, dancing is not what it used to be. Some 30 years ago, of course, I don't remember too well. But we have these very lovely and charming young ladies to help us show you just what we mean. 30 years ago, dancing was somewhat like this. And I'll show you just a different series of dancing. Would you be good enough to help me? Thank you. years ago. Now, right. 
that was nice and, and, and it's kind of sincere and, and warm and everything like that. Well, 10 years ago, we didn't have quite the sincerity, but we had different types of dancing done by a group of young people that were known as jitterbugs. And that looked something like this. years ago. Now we'll show you why it's difficult to dance. This is a young lady who looks and typifies the young lady who would dress and be waiting for her bow to pick her up to take her dancing today, nowadays. And this is how they dance. Jerry, Jerry, hey! Come here, come here, come You know what you're going to do for me now? No. You're going to conduct the band. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, come on. Well, what number, Dean? Do you happen to know what kind of number this is? No. Italian. It figures. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to do, there's no tomorrow. You conduct it, huh? Oh, boy, goody, goody, gumdrop. Yeah, yeah, bet your bottom dollar on that.
We'll be back in just a moment. Ugh. What a mess. Hey. Ajax cleans pots and pans up to twice as easy, twice as fast. Use Ajax, the foaming cleanser. Clean pots and pans, just like a whiz. Ajax cuts grease faster than any other leading cleanser. Use the pain, the elbow tax, when you start cleaning with Ajax. Ajax really polishes as it cleans. So use Ajax, the foaming cleanser. Floats the dirt right down the drain. By gosh, they're right. Foaming Action Ajax makes even the dirtiest pan shine like new in a jiffy. So use Ajax! Mmm! And it smells good, too! Before we say goodnight, please remember MDA. They need your help very, very badly. And Thank don't forget you. next week, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jimmy Durant, first time on Colgate. Yes, a wonderful sir. man and a great performer, so please watch him. How about a real cheer for a great performer, Mr. Burt Lancaster, ladies and gentlemen?